The paper on markups arose because there's an increasing macro literature that um, documents the rise over the last 40 years of markups in the economy overall. What do I mean by a markup? Price over marginal cost or variable cost. So that would be, say, um, in the case of software, variable cost is almost zero. Uh, and it's all the fixed cost of inventing it. If we're talking about this table, there's some fixed cost of setting up the factory and the design and so on, but then there's variable costs in the metal and the plastic and the composites and so on in the table. So markups have been rising. Why have they been rising? Well, the, the literature points to the highest markup firms having yet higher markups, and those are coming from very low variable cost, digital products and pharmaceuticals and so on. Um, and then potentially other explanations such as insufficient competition to drive prices down. And what the paper talks about is really trying to divide uh, the interpretation of rising markups into those two groups, sort of good markups and bad markups. Mm -hmm. Good markups come from the fact that People want drugs, people want websites, and to make a nice website, you have to pay a website designer and a programmer to create it, and having created it, many, many people can visit it at low cost each, uh, but you have a, a, a big fixed cost to put it there, and that creates a very high markup. That kind of high markup is not a competition problem, uh, it's the nature of the good that the consumer wants. And often the fixed cost is really a sign of quality. That is to say, uh, a better designed uh, web page, a more effective drug, um, a more innovative car. Those might all have higher fixed costs uh, to create. So those markups I would broadly categorize as in the good group. But then there's a set of markups that we might say are the problem markups. And these would come from Prices rising not to cover the fixed cost, but because there is not enough competition. So I, I make my car, but then there isn't another car maker to compete with, and therefore the price gets even higher. Um, so we could think about markups that come from insufficient competition. That might in turn be uh, generated by uh, insufficient antitrust enforcement, uh, competition authorities that are not keeping up with the economy and new products and learning how to enforce in those areas. It might come from rent-seeking behavior on, in areas like intellectual property, licensing, uh, deregulation. Um, if those processes are captured by the firms themselves, they can end up writing very favorable rules and then there's very high markups in those uh, places. So th the paper really walks through a number of these explanations and says, uh, I think that the, the broad conclusions are quite a bit of the markup, rising markups is probably due to things we would consider good or at least neutral. Our concern with rising markups might also be driven by insufficient competition enforcement. And that luckily is something that we actually do know how to fix, right? We, we could, we could uh, have a bit stricter laws, we could put more effort into it, we could try to do a better job there and that might really bring uh, markups down that are the wrong kind of markup.